Hello, and welcome to The Dig, where for 12 months we cover 12 archaeological sites. Each month we feature a different archaeology site, which you'll learn all about. You can then go to Instagram and follow AITC underscore DC, and for the 30 days of that month, see featured artifacts from that archaeological site. Come with us as we learn about a new archaeology laboratory. We're headed to Richmond, Virginia to meet with Bernard Means, who runs the Virtual Curation Laboratory at Virginia Commonwealth University. In 2010, an archaeologist with Marine Corps Base Quantico by the name of John Haynes approached me about a project he was interested in doing with scanning 3D artifacts. Uh, John Haynes himself is an alumnus of Virginia Commonwealth University, and we've known each other for a number of years. And so we developed this project to test uh, 3D scanning equipment on archaeological artifacts. Um, and then based on that project, because we had put money into higher students, we created the lab, or I created the lab, uh, to make it possible to scan artifacts uh, from Marine Corps Base Quantico and also from locations throughout the Mid-Atlantic States. Um, As part of the project, we have scanned artifacts from throughout the Middle Atlantic States, particularly in Virginia and Pennsylvania. The lab is located in the School of World Studies in Lafayette Hall on the third floor. The role of the Virtual Curation Laboratory is to scan artifacts uh, and also animal bone remains from archaeological sites or from archaeological collections. Uh, the goal of the laboratory is to uh, further uh, access to archaeological objects from throughout the world to a wide variety of audiences, uh, including my undergraduate students who I teach, uh, members of the public, and also other researchers. The Virtual Curation Laboratory is located on the third floor of Lafayette Hall and Virginia Commonwealth University, where I'm also an instructor in anthropology. The artifacts that we create are used for multiple uh, uh, purposes. Uh, some of them are incorporated into my uh, classroom lectures. Um, many of them are incorporated into student research projects, and the student themselves will give presentations at, presentations at archaeological conferences and publish on their results. We also use the artifacts in public outreach activities. Um, and we also share them with uh, researchers across the world. Uh, some of the individuals that we re have shared our artifacts with who we've never met include a blind uh, activist in uh, Oregon who is interested in getting access to artifacts uh, in a way that people can touch the objects um, who do not have the ability to actually go to museums or to locations such as George Washington's uh, birthplace. Uh, the Virtual Curation Museum was started uh, in October 2013 to accompany an exhibit in the James Branch Cabell Library at Virginia Commonwealth University. The exhibit was designed to highlight the range of research that we were doing in the Virtual Curation Laboratory and included uh, printed artifacts and also uh, poster graphics that were designed to make people aware of the Virtual Curation Laboratory's research. And as part of those posters, we included quick response or QR codes that would link people to a website where we're building a virtual curation um, museum. And the virtual curation museum is designed to function like a traditional museum, except be accessible to people online. And it only exists in cyberspace. It doesn't have a physical um, reality. The laboratory is special, and partly because of our location, adjacent to a number of important cultural heritage locations, including the homes of a number of presidents and also some significant museums with major collections. And we are able to access these collections in ways that most researchers cannot. Um, we uh, actually are, um, even though our laboratory is based here at Virginia Commonwealth University, our equipment is portable and we will travel around the region scanning artifacts that most people, even uh, leading scholars, do not have the ability to access because they're fragile and cannot be handled repeatedly. Our laser scanner is a non-contact scanner and it doesn't affect the object itself. But once we've scanned an object, then that 3D digital model and the 3D prints that we make can be made accessible to researchers, to educators, uh, to students. As a scientist and as a scholar uh, working with a virtual curation laboratory, I've changed quite a bit I've worked um, much more with community groups, uh, worked much more with public outreach, and I've also thought more about how other people perceive archaeological research and what archaeologists do. And the Virtual Curation Laboratory and the research that I and my students do has allowed us to interact with a diverse range of publics um, across the world, 
uh, both within the school itself, uh, a lot with other professionals, and we even do we've done a fair amount of community research project or community outreach projects as well.